The garment industry is responsible for 78% of Bangladesh's economy. The workers, 85% of whom are women, are low paid, mostly rural migrants who have had no access to education. One person will earn approximately a pound per day, producing a staggering 120 pairs of trousers an hour and 50 shirts a day. Care Bangladesh has been working with a handful of international companies, including Gap, Timberland and Walmart, to empower the female workers through education and leadership skills. Visiting Dakar slums to attend the project, which takes place after working hours, is Rushan Ara Ali, a UK Member of Parliament, originally from Bangladesh. She is here to find out how companies can be encouraged to further support development. We began by asking Roshanara what role she thought big business has to play in development. One of the things that's really vital is to look at how women's conditions in the workplace can be improved. One of the problems with the situation here in Bangladesh is that although there's been a lot of talk over the years, there's still patchy action. And if private companies were really serious, they would pool their resources and they would think about how they can raise the conditions because they have a lot to gain in productivity terms, but also in terms of reputation and brand because the image of these companies are as much about how they treat their employees as it is about the kinds of goods that they produce. Chadney, like her colleagues, is one of the many poor, young, rural migrants who has come to Dhaka to work in the garments industry. Since taking part in the program, Chadney is now able to advocate on her own behalf for fair pay. She can question the managers if it is not the right amount. Other women have been promoted within the factory, from operators to supervisors, earning more money. The women are also recruiting other workers to join the project and are passing on their new skills to colleagues. Small-scale initiatives that have been introduced seem to show that, that they can have real benefit. The challenge for the private sector is to really spread that and work with local businesses and local partners and NGOs to, to make sure that those who are not benefiting are, are reached. Projects that try and incorporate education and health uh, are really vital. And I believe that companies that are working here and investing, many of them are British as well as American, have a huge responsibility to build on the work they've done in the past to really make sure they reach the thousands and thousands of women who are working in the garments industry. The women who are working in the garments factory are basically the backbone of this country's economy. So it's absolutely vital that the private sector that's operating, whether it's foreign companies or the ones here, play their part to improve the conditions within which the women work. In Bangladesh, 3 million are directly employed in the garment sector, with up to 15 to 20 million indirectly depending on it. For this model to be truly effective, more companies must get involved. <laughs>